Today is Saturday and it is officially the gloomiest month of all time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's been raining every single day and we're actually working this weekend, which I don't normally love to do, but sometimes campaigns just fall this way. And we've been invited by the Ashford outlet. I think that's how you, I'll put the real name up here in case I've pronounced that wrong, because I'm terrible with anything like this. Um, Is it Design Outlet Ashford? That's it, I don't know what's better than I do. Design Outlet Ashford, and it's the Kent one, so we've got a bit of a drive, a bit of a road trip, and we've been invited down to have a look at some of the brands, some of the stores, and to create like a little video, so super excited to do it, and it's been in the books since before Christmas. Um, just the worst day for it. In a sense, it's kind of a good day for shopping because it's the kind of weather where you can't do anything anyway. Um, I just know that this outlet mall is outdoors. So we'll see how it goes. I've tried to dress warm and I've got a thermal underneath as well. Um, so it, I should be okay. Um, it's just quite hard filming video with rain because of the sound and also just trying to keep the lens clear so wish us luck today I'm sure it'll be fine Adam's very good at video and we'll just think of creative ways to work around it but if I get the chance I'll pick you up show you around I've also got my new baby today so she's got her first day out in the pissing room so I'll have to be really careful with her, but it's canvas and leather. That was one of the reasons why I bought it. It's just super sturdy. Like it's going to be absolutely fine. It's not suede or anything, but um, yeah, I've blabbled on enough now, but I'm just giving you a little update on what we're doing today. Do you like being pampered? So I thought I would do a voiceover for this bit because it was just crazy busy. It was very difficult to do, obviously, the campaign as well as do some vlogging. But I managed to get lots of clips for you guys anyway, so I hope you enjoy the voiceover. But there are literally so many brands at Ashford Designer Outlet. So if you're near that way, highly recommend going to have a look. This was an All Saints and I found this cream coat. It was beautiful. It had fringing on it as well. And this rail had the specific tweed blazer that I loved. It was actually quite Holland and Cooper-esque, so very surprised for All Saints, but it was a beautiful, beautiful piece. Obviously, guys, I'm picking up Starbucks, and my little baby's getting a pup cup. Absolutely deserves it. Now, I went into Sandro because I adore the store. I just feel like the quality of everything is top-notch, and if you're like me, I need to, like, touch everything, and I always feel bad for, like, destroying the displays. I do put everything back, but I just need to, like, experience it and try things on, and I really enjoyed the colour palette that they had for January. It was really fresh, bringing lots of spring in. Now, I had to have a look in, is it Madge? Mage? I'm terrible at this. And there was this specific coat that I found on this rail, and I so regret not picking up this coat. I spent ages trying it on, umming and eyeing whether I needed it, like I don't need another coat, but I loved the check detailing and the neutral colour palette. I just, I couldn't decide if it was too like schoolgirl vibes, if you know what I mean, with the hood. Um, and the buttons were a little bit of a pest to do up, but I just think it looks so good. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, why didn't I get this coat? I'm so frustrated at myself. It's always the way, isn't it? So I'm gonna obviously have to plan a trip back to try this piece on because it's beautiful. Now, how much of a duo twinning moment is this? This just goes to show, this is from Reese, that you can really pick up things everywhere quite similar. Designer Exchange is also a very good one to shop pre-loved goods, but um, I'll get you back to present day now. Good start. Good start. Love it. What are you doing? Here we go. Good morning. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. It is very early. I think it's about, well, seven. Not that early, but early for me. Mm. Mm. That first sip of coffee in the morning hits different. 
you will have seen the absolute disaster my coffee was this morning. But um, yeah, I'm really struggling to get back into my normal routine after New Year's. Um, so yeah, struggling to go to like get up before eight, which is bad for me because I've got so much to do. And the nature of this job in particular has a lot to do with making sure you get the best light and the lighting's not great at the minute so yeah i need to be making the most of the mornings basically um but yeah welcome back to a new vlog thank you so much for watching my last vlog back we will do a um sit down proper catch up about the bag and everything i'm thinking we could probably do that tomorrow um because today we are heading off into London, which, yeah, will be the first time proper heading back in for, um, like, a work appointment. I'm meeting up with one of um, my friends, who's also a PR, and we're going to go do a little bit of um, store appointments, and then get a little coffee and catch up. I'm debating whether or not to bring... I need to do some brows. Oh, I'm baiting whether or not to bring my dog, um, Eden Bear, because she'll be by herself for about four hours, which is fine, and our neighbor's gonna come in and take her out. Um, but I just feel so guilty, so I'm like, oh, maybe I take her with me, but then any dog owner will understand the effort of taking your dog into stores, and I need to create content, and it's just gonna be an absolute faff. Then half of me feels really guilty, and it's like, you should take her. But anyway, I don't want this to go on and on, so um, let me do my makeup. There is a beauty video planned, don't worry. But let me do my makeup off camera so I don't spoil anything. And then I'll come back to you looking a lot less tired. Oh, also, look at this mahoosive breakout I've been getting. Also, I can't believe I'm puffy. I wake up looking. But yeah, mahoosive breakout. Mmm. Love that for us. And literally, just like that, imagine if it was that quick, I am ready. I do my hair with a Dyson Airwrap um, and my massive extension lead, you can see there. And this all drops down, which I prefer. But I do it quite like big and it all starts dropping, which is great. Makeup of the day is all done. I've gone for like a super minimal fresh look. I feel like whenever I'm going into the city and I know I'm not going to have time to like touch up my makeup, I'll do a full coverage base, but then everything else to look quite fresh and awake. Like, I won't do too much with my eyes. Um, Lipstick-wise, I actually don't put lipstick on until I'm actually in the city. So, I won't do my lips until I'm probably in the train. I just feel like if I'm wanting to have a coffee, I hate the lipstick mark. And I don't know what it is. As I'm getting older, I mean, I love lipstick, don't get me wrong. As I'm getting older... I really want like low maintenance makeup and I love wearing lipstick because I'm a little bit self-conscious about my lips because they're quite thin so I do like to overline them um so I like the look of lipstick and lip liner together but it's such a hassle to wear and keep so I feel like I postpone it basically until the very last minute um but yeah I'm still deciding whether or not I should take Evie with me my only fear is I'd love to take her in but I'm afraid that we're not going to get into the store appointment with her and that's the whole point of this trip and I have looked it up on Google and there's so much conflicting information that I'm just like mm. I don't know if it's like certain stores let you in oh, so I don't know like, the mum guilt of having a dog is real um but yeah the hair will calm down with the dyson so i'm just gonna go and get ready it's absolutely freezing today you'll have seen some, a clip of me inserting in the morning there's snow on the ground so i don't know whether to dress for style or to dress for practicality always always the same debate i am actually for some reason thinking i should dress for practicality today because i just think oh it's going to be freezing and i'd rather be warm but there's this really nice trench coat I have from a line. Um, so I'm like, I would quite like to wear that too, so. Decisions, decisions. Oh, lovely. Lovely, Evie. It is very frosty on our morning walk today. Very, very frosty indeed. I mean, look at the ice. I thought we were past this. <laughs> 
I thought spring was coming. I swear everyone's talking about spring. I thought spring was coming. So I actually thought I would show you my outfit of the day before I go into London. I've gone very masculine Scandi vibes. I've ended up just doing lots of layering so that I can wear this coat. My hat is a boucle black beanie from All Saints. I love it. I got this little like neck scarf from Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's such a good little layering piece without it being too bulky and you know, over the top and you don't get hot but you're nice and warm. My under layer is this wool, let's see if you can come in close. It's this wool um, zip up basically um, from Arquette. I've had it for years, I absolutely love it. It's a really good, again, layering piece because I've got the Arquette t-shirt just underneath and you can like zip it up, zip it down, really good. And then the piece de resistance is this Arquette, tre not the Arquette, what am I saying? The Align trench coat. It's got fab, like all the details of a trench coat you would want, like the big sleeves with the buckles, big lapels, kind of the tortoiseshell horn style buttons all the way down. It's a maxi length on me because I'm short AF, but anyone else it would be very normal. I also love that it's got this little like pocket detail thing, so if I want to put it up, I can, and there's still a little bit of interest which keeps it looking super blocky. Also... I'm partnering with Cocoon Club at the minute and I've loaned out this mini nylon Prada bag which I think goes with the whole look really well. It's still minimal, stated, not too much considering this outfit is pretty relaxed itself and I just love how it looks. I just think it's so cute. Let me do a little zoom. Yeah, I just think it's so cute and it really helps to make the outfit, but it's on loan. Cocoon Club's amazing, by the way, if you're looking to rent out a couple of designer bags to help you like decide whether you think it's worth the price or if you want to invest, if it slips into your wardrobe easy enough. And I've taken out this Prada nylon one because I love the idea of a nylon bag um, just for durability. So we're going to give this a little test drive today. Hello, okay, made it into London and it is surprisingly really busy today, really busy. Um, so just heading off to see Rachel, I'll pop her little Instagram up in the corner of the screen. I'm going to this great coffee shop because she has told me it's a bit busy. Yeah, so I'm going to see Rachel. I'll let you know the coffee shop name as well because I can't pronounce it. I believe it's Japanese. It's really great. So hopefully we'll get a seat. Now I'm going to stop talking because I can't breathe at the same time. Okay, this is the coffee shop here. It's the one with the little square up at the top. This is why I'm saying I'm so rubbish at knowing the names. Now Rachel's in here, but my gosh, it is so busy. to be like a content machine and just like you are a content no machine. even more like madness content machine and I'm two weeks into it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was so rude. Yeah. What even happened there? Not the vibe. Not the vibe. He's not happy. <laughs> We're just gonna have coffee and get some pictures. <laughs> Don't ruin it for us. Okay. Yeah stay like that for your yeah, yeah. Bye. Have a look, see what you think. I love the ones that you smile in. I think they're so cute. So I'm just in and other stories just now and Rachel's also having a look and everything is so gorgeous. I'm also gonna try some bits on, but I'm seeing lots of like yellows, oranges. I mean if you want a pop of colour, how gorgeous is this silk shirt? I'm obsessed. Really nice coats and things, so I'm gonna have a look. I mean look at this texture. I love it. Um, so I'm gonna have a little look around, have a nosy, see what I think. I did have a look at the website, and the website's looking really good at the minute. So if you got some bits, and I will show you in the changing rooms.
Okay, we are in and other stories, so I thought let's do a try on. Um, everything I picked up is very cream, neutral beige, short corner. So let me show you. How stunning is this coat? I think it's very minimal, very scandy. I love not having a collar. Um, so I'm excited to try this one on. We've also got some cream trousers, which is a necessity in my wardrobe. This little zip up piece, which I think will be perfect to layer under blazers, coats. And then in here, we've got like a two piece gray suit, which I'll show you, and a big thick woolly knit. Because although we want spring to come, I think it's gonna be a couple of months still of coldness. So let's get trying on. This is the first blazer on, which I actually really like. The only thing is, I've got the largest size on. So this is a 42, a Euro 42. And I was kind of hoping the shoulders would be a little bit more, I mean they are got great structures in it, but I was hoping they'd be a little bit more oversized. They actually fit me pretty neat on, and I'm usually a 10, 12. Um, so yeah, it's a very, you know, slim blazer. Saying that, I love the deconstructed element. I think it's really cool, really fun, different. I love the shade of grey. I think it'd be great for spring as well as transitions. I think it goes well with this outfit. Um, and it is nice, done up too, for a smarter look. But I'd probably wear it open. I just wish the shoulders were a little bit bigger. That's the only thing I would say, but a very different piece, which I quite enjoy at the minute. There's not a lot of new in the high street, so I love the design. This piece is really cool. Um, I think I expected it to be a little bit more cocoon shaped on the shoulders. It's just kind of a drop shoulder. I think I expected more of like a cocoon look overall, but it actually goes straight down. So it's actually a really flattering piece. And I love how it looks. I love the boucle texture. I think it looks so interesting. But I think for me, this one isn't gonna come home because it's just not the cocoon oversized look I was looking for. I was looking for maybe a good dupe of a totem jacket. Um, so close, but not quite. Now this piece I absolutely love. It's got the gorgeous high neck that is very, again, totem. It feels beautiful. Like this is one of the most stunning cream jumpers I've seen in a while and actually looks premium. You can tell by the huge cuffs here, the long hem, drapey, lovely neck brace style funnel. I love this one. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Now, this is something I didn't expect to like at all and I adore. It's this kind of like boucle fabric cream cardigan. It has got, let's see if you can see if you can pick it up. Yeah, it's got some gold flecks throughout, um, which I wasn't sure of, especially because the buttons have like these little rabbits on them. <laughs> but the actual like fit is really nice. I love how it fits. So this is an unexpected win for me. So let me know what you guys think. Is it weird to have bunny rabbit buttons? I don't know. Okay, I also want to show you the last thing I've tried on, which is this like dual zip up jumper, which I also love. There's just so much nice things in and other stores at the minute. Like, love this, it feels great. I also love these trousers too. A little bit big, but I kind of like that loose oversized fit. 